Hello, welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am Hjotlaik. This is the first qualifying round. The game is between Kosrau the First and Al Kanemi. Kosrau the First is philosophical and financial, and the Sassanids starts with mysticism and agriculture. Al Kanemi is spiritual and protective. Kanem Bornu starts with the wheel and mining. This is the starting position of Kosrau. Let's get the resource bubbles on for a moment. Here is Riverside, there are two stone resources, there is some wheat, there are floodplains here, there's also coal here, some clams out here, and we spot iron over here as well. And then we take a look at the starting position of Al Kanemi. He is east of Kosrau, however, he is so far east that he is all the way here on the western part of the map, crossing the dateline in other words. So this uh, little outcropping here is the same continent as this one in the east, so it's the eastern continent. Next to a river, one, two fishes, one gems, and some horses, and that is the starting position of Al Kanemi. Kosrau is over here. Let's get the game rolling to see who can get through to the next round. Kosrau the first of the Sassanids versus Al Kanemi of Kanem Bornu, and we are off one city each. And they are in different religions Al Kanemi, Hinduism, Kosrau the first in Buddhism. 50 turns and two cities each at the moment. Al Kanemi is cautious. And three cities to Kosrau before Al Kanemi can get his third city. That came along pretty nicely. Kosrau the first is a little bit stronger than Al Kanemi as well. Four cities each at the moment then. Kosrau aren't getting monarchy, mathematics for Al Kanemi, aesthetics for Kosrau the first. Five cities each. And Al Kanemi is now fr pleased with Kosrau the first. Turn 135 is here. Six cities. Al Kanemi is first to six cities. Kosrau the first still on five. And going for construction, getting that. So the code of laws next. Also some fast uh, stuff here. Kosrau has a golden age as well. Up to seven cities. Al Kanemi has ten though. And turn 176. Eleven cities Al Kanemi. But Kosrau has more in score. Higher score even though he has fewer cities. Getting engineering now. Kosrau the first. Going for paper next. He's stronger than Al Kanemi as well. Civil service nationalism next for Kosrau the first. 1.5 times the strength of Al Kanemi. 1.4 now. 1.5. 11 cities each at the moment. He's back up to 11. And Kosrau is going astronomy. Kosrau the first is going astronomy. Ready to settle the microcontinent islands in the middle of the map there. Now he has it. Going guilds next. 11 cities each. Al Kanemi getting his machinery, but going guilds before engineering, I guess. 12 cities Kosrau now. He has settled down in the south. And we see he is also sending his boats out and now settling the microcontinent or the big island over there in the middle of the map. And also another one. 14 cities now Kosrau. Getting liberalism as well. 14 cities to 11 is the count at the moment. 14 to 11 and Al Kanemi is going to be left behind if he cannot uh, get a few more cities at least. 15 to 11 now. Al Kanemi going engineering. Kosrau is going printing press. Turn 250, we are halfway through to um, the regulation time. Al Kanemi with ending a golden age. Al Kanemi is now getting astronomy. Kosrau is getting democracy. Up to 18 cities already, Kosrau the first. 18 to 11, going for chemistry next after that. Turn 266 now. Kosrau the first is 1.2 times the strength of Al Kanemi. 19 cities to 11. Al Kanemi is getting gunpowder. And both of them are going scientific method after that. 22 cities to 11. Now Kosrau has twice the number of cities of Al Kanemi. And that is a very good place to be for the Sassanid leader. I think Kosrau the first is my favorite to win this game right as it stands now. Turn 290. And the secrets were stolen. There were some spies that stole a technology. That was Al Kanemi stealing for Kosrau then. 23 cities to 11. 24 cities and Kosrau is on physics now. Al Kanemi is going towards democracy. Kosrau is getting uh, onto physics. But he spent a turn upgrading units I guess. He got some gold. 
26 cities now for Kostrau, Alkanemi is getting rifling, Kostrau is going towards steel, Alkanemi is getting communism next, Kostrau 1.5 times the strength, 28 cities to 11, and it is the Sassanids that has expanded into the new world, I see no Kanembornu cities over on those islands, so 29 cities Kostrau the first, 11 cities Alkanemi, I think that Alkanemi's only chance to win this game right now is either diplomatic or maybe a culture. Well, those are two options actually, not one. <laughs> so it's not the only. The only ones, I can say. Okay, red rounds for Alkanemi, assembly line for Kostra the first. On to fascism next, then, and there are privateers on the scene. 31 cities Kostra the first. 11 cities Alkanemi. Alkanemi is 11 cities. What can you do with those 11 cities and Kostra the first? You don't seem to have any intentions of attacking, do you? You are not building up militarily. You only have 1.4 times the strength of Alkanemi, 1.5. And that is not something that shows any build up. But now it's up to 1.6. Is Kostra finally building up units here? 1.6 times the strength of Alkanemi, 1.7. Maybe Kostra the first is planning an attack. Now down to 1.5 again. We should see that number grow rapidly if Kostra the first has started building units. 31 cities to 11. It doesn't look like Kostra the first is building units to me. Going for radio while Alkanemi is on electricity and getting that one. Both of them on radio at the moment and turn 355. And this means that Alkanemi. If Kostra the first does not attack Alkanemi, could try to go for a cultural victory here. Kostra gets mass media first though. And both of them are on industrialism at the moment. Kostra the first is not going for the slider at least uh, when it comes to culture, so he is not trying for a cultural victory. But Alkanemi maybe should, going biology into medicine, plastics for Kostra the first. With 31 cities to 11, it is very difficult for me to see Alkanemi winning in any other ways than either Diplo or Culture, and I don't know if Diplo is too late. Yes, it is too late. We have the war. That means Kostra the first is going for domination then. Both of them on rocketry, but 1.8, two times the strength now. And we see Kostra the first is building, has been building up a little bit of units. 2.1, uh, 2.2, the strength of Alkanemi. Still 11 cities for Alkanemi though, he hasn't taken a city yet, Kostra the first, but it should be only a matter of time now, turn 395, with 31 cities to 11, that's a lot more production capacity, should be able to build a lot of units, even though if he lose more uh, units than Alkanemi, he should be able to replenish them quickly. Hasn't taken any cities yet though, and he's still only two times as strong as Alkanemi. That is a little bit of a concern, of course. Going lasers next, Alkanemi is on satellites. Turn 406, 407, Alkanemi on his 11 cities. Is Alkanemi trying? Well, I don't think he's running the slider because he is tacking, but it could, of course, be that he has some culture in the cities anyway and are building up slowly. There is a possibility, of course. But uh, 31 cities to 11 and Kostra the first is soon to reach medicine. Kostra adopts police state though, so he is planning on this war to last for a little while, I think. Going on for medicine, Alkanemi uh, going on to lasers next. <coughs> 32 cities to 10 as we see the peace treaty. And the peace treaty was not something Kostra the first really should have signed, but he did. So 10 cities left for Alkanemi and Kostra 1.6 times the strength of his opponent. Getting ecology now next, while Alkanemi is getting his lasers. 32 cities to 10, turn 425. And now composites for Kostra the first. Let's see what happens once the peace treaty runs out. Alkanemi is getting computers next. And I still think that Alkanemi could win culture if Kostra the first is not careful here. That is the only thing that I think can stop Kostra the first from winning this game and going through to the next round, turn 432. Because as long as we are up in the 400 turns something, we are in a cultural. 
Alkanemi has completed the Apollo program though. So maybe he is trying for that as well, going robotics now I see. 32 cities to 10, but Alkanemi cannot possibly win a space race with Kostrau the first. Kostrau has many more cities to build spaceship parts in. And the secrets of composites were stolen by enemy infiltrators, so Alkanemi is gaining technologies by stealing them from Kostrau the first. That is something that is real in this game now. Spies are being used to the max for Alkanemi, trying his very best. Kostra completed the spaceship casing though. And Kostra completed the life support as well. I think the only chance for Alkanemi to compete in the space race is for him to send his spies to sabotage Kostra the first's spaceship parts. But he hasn't done that as far as I can see. Alkanemi has completed the casing and the docking bay as well. And there it is, life support was destroyed by enemy infiltrators, Alkanema is truly sending his spies to ruin Kostrau the first uh, spaceship parts. That is something that is happening in this game as well. Is that going to be uh, the thing that decides this game? I don't think so. I still think that Ghost Rider First is going to win a spaceship victory here. Because I don't think Alkanemi have enough spy points. To actually be able to destroy them all, I think Kostrav is in the driver's seat here. I think Kostrav is the favorite to win it. Let's see if that actually ends up the truth. Alkanemi could still steal away a cultural victory though, if he has a few cities close to a legendary status. I don't know that. Turn 4, 58 to 32, cities to 10, and Kostrav the first is going for stealth. Alkanemi is on fusion. Alkanemi completes the spaceship thrusters as well though. So he is in the spaceship race. However, he is behind. I believe he is behind. He cannot possibly overtake Kostra the first that completes all the spaceship casing there. Turn 461, Alkanemi completes a thruster. So he is building a lot of spaceship parts as well. That is something that could make this game a little bit more even than I previously thought, but I still think Ghost the First is going to make it though. Alkanemi has completed creative constructions now. That is going to help with production in his cities so we can build faster. And Civilized Jewelers is here. Alkanemi has completed another spaceship thruster and another spaceship casing. Now I see Alkanemi is building a lot of spaceship parts, while Kostra the first hasn't uh, been doing that lately. Maybe he is uh, catching up. That would have been something. That would really have been something. Kostra the first 1.9 times the strength of Alkanemi. Alkanemi is actually on future tech, while Kostra is on fiber optics. So Alkanemi, he is ahead. Can Alkanemi, can Alkanemi win the space race victory with 10 cities versus Kostra the first 32 cities? That would be impressive indeed if he can do that. But Kostra completes a life support spaceship part with 32 cities. Kostra completes the docking bay. Alkanemi has completed another spaceship casing though. And I'll come in near me, yeah. And Moser can no longer work a revolution. Universal suffrage for Kostra the first. 32 cities to 10, both of them on future tech at the moment, which means that turn 481 is here, and both of them are on future tech. Both of them are building spaceship parts. But I cannot believe that Alkanemi is going to steal that one. But it is the cultural victory and it is Kostra the first that has taken the cultural victory. I have not seen him running the slider at all. So this was all done by buildings and stuff. But Kostra the first has won the game. Turn 483, 2063 ID. But it was not a space race. It was a cultural victory. Congratulations with your ticket into the next round.
Kosovo the first declared a war in 1962-32, winning one nil in city capture, signing peace in 2000, turn 420 after 38 years and turns in war. He went on to win culture in 2063, turn 483, and then we go take a look at the stats and the graphs and stuff. Kosra the first is here in the lightish blue, while Alkaneme is in the pinkish, uh, light pinkish. This is the score. This is the gold, the production, well, uh, GNP to be exact. Production, food, power, culture, and espionage. Let's go to the demographics then. Kosra the first has numbers here to the left, Alkaneme to the right, and we see the numbers here. They are decentish for both of them. Top six cities and Wonderstan. Let's go to the bottom of this page to see that there were one, two, three wonders in the BC era. Let's go back to the top. And we see the top six cities. Ectesiphon of Kosrau the first is number one. Kosrau also has the second and the third. And Alkanemi has the fourth city, the fifth city, and the sixth city. Let's go to the stats. Here we see Kosra the first with 31 cities built, 4 legions, 2 golden ages, currently on 59 windmills, 44 towns, 27 farms. He did build a total of 30 granaries, 28 lighthouses, 24 barracks, down to 8 Islamic temples. Page down. And we see a Notre Dame at the bottom of the next page here. Let's go page down again and see rock and roll as the last building built by Kosra the first. Go back to the top and look at current units then. 69 mechanist infantry, 31 workers, 29 marines, down to one caravel. He trained a total of 38 workers, 32 marines and settlers and tanks and longbowmen. Down to six frigates. Let's go page down and see another full list. Down to two galleys. Let's go page down again and see one scout at the bottom of the list of units trained. Then the kills. 23 destroyers, 12 battleships, 11 infantry, is down to 1 Christian missionary, the losses. 19 transports, 15 destroyers, 8 tanks, down to 1 mobile artillery. So, al Kanemis numbers done. 11 cities built, 3 regions, 2 golden ages, currently on 39 windmills, 27 towns, 20 farms. He did build in his cities, 11 of a lot of stuff, 10 of a lot of stuff, 9 of a lot of stuff, with 9 lighthouses at the bottom there. Let's go page down and see one more statues at the bottom of that page. Let's go page down again and see another complete page with the pyramids at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see a globe theater at the, as the last building built by al -Kanemi. Go back to the top and look at his current units then. 39 mechanist infantry, 18 marines, 12 gunships, down to one destroyer. He did train a total of 37 Jewish missionaries, 34 Christian missionaries, 27 Hindu missionaries, down to five jet fighters. Let's go page down and see one missile cruiser down there. Let's go page down again and see one mobile SAM at the bottom of the list of units trained. Let's confirm the kills then. 19 transports, 15 destroyers, 8 tanks all the way down to a galleon. The losses. 23 destroyers, 12 battleships, 11 infantry, and one Christian missionary. We have to congratulate Kosra the first with the cultural win and go take a look at the victory conditions screen. Here is the confirmation that Kerman is the third city reaching legendary culture for Kosra the first for his uh, cultural victory. Stesiphon uh, and Ishtaker uh, reached legendary a long time ago, 94,000 and 90,000 respectively. Kerman just 50,000 right now. Uh, we see Al uh, Kanemi wasn't even close to culture, but they had started building some spaceship parts. Also, some spaceship parts built by Kosra the First here. Al Kanemi built both the Apostolic Palace and the United Nations, and we see here Kosra the First was not that far away from winning domination, 67.81%. Well, some ways away, but uh, if he had focused on the war effort, he could have won domination if he wanted to. Let's go exit and take a look at the cities then. Kosra has 32 of them, so let's sort by population, and yes, we are at the top. 
building thrusters and engines, thrusters and cockpit engines, stasis chamber, thrusters, a lot of spaceship parts here. Steph Siphon and Hamadan and Mosul with POP21, some POP20s, they are happy and healthy with a few exceptions of happiness. Good food, I'd say. Also, 160 base commerce in Ktesiphon uh, is really good. And then also 91, 99, mid 70s and 60s, 96 in Ishtaker, yeah, 84, good. 91 again. So, very good commerce, which helps uh, for the cultural victory of course also some a uh, good production here and a few cities with rather lowish production but uh, some cities are really good nishapur uh, pop 9 is the last on page one let's go to the bottom nine nishapur and susa is the first on page two building a thruster in manan as well as you can see down there let's go take a look at the cities of Alkanemedan. exit here he has 10 of them so let's switch over to Alkanemi. okay and he has 10 cities so let's click here sort by population and see and then Gazar Gamu top with pop 24 and then Jimin, Jamena and Maiduguri on 21 happy healthy good food a good base commerce especially J Jimmy with 116 and also Maidugiri with 92 and stuff Production is good in all cities, uh, building space elevator as well in Kano. Congratulations though to Kosrau the first with a cultural victory in 2063, turn 483. Tomorrow is another game in the first qualifying round of the NLC. That's Kruger versus Arshot the first. I am Shot Like, this has been the Noble Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back tomorrow. Goodbye for now.